The SES um, activated its state control centre in for the uh, forecast severe weather on Friday morning. Um, since that time, we've received a number of requests for assistance uh, in excess of 450 requests um, spread right across the state, predominantly uh, Adelaide metropolitan area and uh, also the hills, but we have seen requests right across the state. So certainly in the southeast, uh, also uh, Air Peninsula and uh, West Coast and uh, York Peninsula as well. So quite a number of those. Predominantly trees down, although we have seen some um, significant roof damage uh, to a few buildings, but predominantly trees down. Quite a lot of trees on cars, but thankfully no uh, injuries that, that we're aware of. Um, we're still uh, working through these and our volunteers uh, are certainly very tired um, but continuing to work through those. We've been well supported by uh, a lot of other agencies which has been fantastic but we certainly like to thank uh, employers who allow our volunteers to actually respond um, to these and fulfil the work that they've trained to do. Um, Obviously one of the other things that's uh, certainly very topical at the moment is the uh, global IT outage and that did not affect any of our operational systems. Uh, we were still able to respond as per normal, um, which is uh, fantastic. We did obviously have, like a lot of people, a few impacts around uh, fuel, but you know our volunteers worked through that uh, as they always do in finding ways around these sort of issues. Um, with uh, you know, these storms are, you know, likely to continue out uh, through winter. You know, we may see more things like this. We urge people to, uh, you know, continue to protect their properties, prepare them. They can refer to our SES website. But if anyone does need assistance in the current event, uh, they can call 132500 uh, anywhere in South Australia. How's the outlook? Uh, is there more weather coming through? Are you expecting more call-outs tonight and for the rest of the weekend? We're still seeing quite a few call-outs coming through today uh, as uh, people still find uh, damage. Uh, at this stage, the, the Bureau of Meteorology does still have a severe weather warning current, um, but we are not anticipating it to be a prolonged event. 450 requests for help. How, how big is the backlog? Are you going to be catching up for the next couple of days, do you think? We're anticipating that we'll be able to clear that today. Um, again, pending what else comes in. At this stage, we've got about 60 uh, jobs outstanding. And what's your message for South Australians who are maybe waiting for an SES crew to, to come and help them about just about staying patient? Uh, obviously, we, we prioritise those. Uh, at this stage, even though we've got a number of jobs, we're not seeing them all in the one area. So hopefully there's not uh, long delays that people have to wait. But certainly, uh, if there is any updates, um, if they no longer require us, they can contact us back and, and then we're able to reprioritise to other locations. Do you have any advice for people on, you know, sort of a threshold on when they should call the SES? I mean, if there's a branch that comes down and it's, you know, on the side of the house, not causing any damage, do you call this yes? Or is that a waste of your resources and time, you know, for bigger jobs? Certainly uh, our main aim is protect life and property. So we are certainly uh, very interested in those jobs where um, somebody might be injured or there's a risk of injury, uh, trees across uh, roads, uh, and significant risk there. Certainly if it's if it's on the footpath and it's no not a risk or if it's in someone's backyard, those are those lower priority jobs. And we'd encourage if people can deal with them themselves, that certainly does make it a lot easier for us, but we know that sometimes that's not possible, but we will have to uh, prioritise those down to a lower level. Okay. Is there any particularly significant incidents that occurred? Uh, we've seen a few um, sheds that have been damaged, but predominantly, um, yeah, no, no real significant damage uh, across the state, which is uh, which is great.